Duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial. This time we're looking at another plugin by Exceldro. I actually reached out to him and asked if he could make me this plugin because we were using a very difficult way of making freeze frames using the replay source and it was kind of causing my computer to lag quite a lot. So I reached out and I was like, can you make me a plugin that will actually just freeze frame the filter that's on? And he's done it. Forget about using the replay filter. If you want a freeze frame, this is exactly how to do it. Before we get into it, like the video, also subscribe, put your rock of the stone, let's go. Right, so as always, before we get into this, all the links are down below, so don't worry about if you can't see anything on screen, because I'm having some screen resolution issues, just don't get into it. I've got a new PC that I'm building at the moment, waiting for all the parts to come. Thank you everybody that's been supporting me on the Twitch channel and made made me dream come true a little bit. Cheers. Right. So let's get to OBS uh, website and we're going to look at the freeze filter again by Exceldrome. Go and check out his YouTube channel. Check out the rest of his plugins. They're all amazing. I'm covering every single one of them because they are just so unique and so useful. So to install this, we hit download. You'll get your options as always. Windows 32, Windows 64 and Mac OS. I'm using Windows 64. Then all you need to do is press the, the download that you've got. Two folders as always, data, OBS plugins, we need to copy them and go to the OBS folder which is usually in C, program files 86 for me depending on what version of Windows you're using and then OBS-Studio all lowercase, paste it directly into that folder. If you've already got this installed and you don't need to update it, you just press replace files in that destination. If you've not got it before, it will just ask you to uh, authorize the, the copy uh, and move into that folder. So just press yes to everything. And that is it. Restart your OBS. Um, I usually like to make sure you close OBS completely when installing any new plugins. If it's not there for any reason, you need to update Visual Studio. Uh, you can just Google that and it will come up with a link. Uh, that, that, yeah, you, you, it's usual basic stuff like that. Then, to get this to work, this is such a cool filter, all right? Before, when making freeze frames, we had to do so many different things and create different scenes. Now, we just collect, select the source. I'm going to use the game cam, which is this one, as you can see, just here. I'm just going to press right click, go to filters. And I've actually already added one there, but I'm going to add a new one. You press plus and go freeze. I'm going to call this freeze test. Oops. And then... That is it. The filter is on. You can still hear me. If I tick that button, I become unfroze. Press it again. Frozen again. Moving. Freeze. Moving. Freeze. Easy as that. And it's using absolutely zero, zero CPU usage, as you can see just here. I know where uh, my CPU usage is not great just with the setup that I'm using at the moment. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And that is all there is to it. You can change the duration there on how long you want the it to last. So if I type in one second and press it, do, 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 one second later, it automatically turns off. So that again, you press freeze, do, 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 and then one second automatically turns off. So nice little feature. Exceldro definitely is going to add more things to, to his plugin. So if you've got any requests, go and send him a message. He's a really down to earth guy. And uh, yeah, he's, ju he's just sick. All right. So setting that up on a hotkey, as always, go up to file, go down to settings, and go to hotkeys and now we need to look for this source so this is NS game cam for me so I need to go to uh, it should be down here somewhere uh, do, 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 NS game cam there we go you've got enable freeze and disable freeze just put whatever you want in there as your, your command so I'm gonna use um, control alt 1 and control alt 2 that is it press apply and when I press Control Alt One, oops, not when the menu is open, it'll freeze. Control Alt Two, I'll start getting moving again. And then to add that to your Stream Deck, all you need to do is create another hotkey, or you could do a hotkey switch, and that'll have both keys on. I'll ch I'll do more tutorials on Stream Deck if you want. Let me know by pressing the like button. But that is it. Such an easy tool to get freeze frame, and it is so light. It will not affect CPU or anything like that. If you've enjoyed this video, like it, also subscribe because I'm doing so much more content to help you guys with streaming and the stuff behind the scenes. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. See you later.